Greetings and welcome to Arubna Den on this portion of Dark Thoughts. This is just a quick little interlude I'm making in between the first and the second episode, saying that what I'm doing is uh, spacing out each episode every three weeks. And I think I'll narrow it down to about a three episode series with Dark Thoughts. That way, um, I'll put it up next week and then we will move the third one into um, Passover. So like right before Easter. And I think that'll be a good time to end it as well. It'll also give me a little bit more time to think about how to hash this out. Maybe do a revamp of the first episode, going into the whole thing with the tertium quid and the trilemma, bring in Pasquale's wager with that. Um, talk a little bit more about reductio ad absurdum and how we are supposed to be looking at these questions we have within ourselves, the trials and tribulations within us during this period of questioning God, questioning what's happening, what's going on, why is this taking so long, and trying to maybe get the answers through how God works as opposed to us wanting everything right now, right at this second, and wondering why it's not coming to fruition. Though I think things are indeed ramping up, and we have seen that within this year. Things have been picking up rather hastily. It's still long drawn out, dragging ass, if you will. We're all just very worn out from it, at least those of us who know what's going on. Um, the rest of us think the world's just going to hell. It's going to start World War III and all this stuff. And it could lead to that, though I think God will stop it at the very end. The time when God acts the most is when we are in our most desperate spot. Even with the Israelis during the Exodus, when Pharaoh was pursuing them, uh, crossing the Red Sea, and they thought that they had no way out. There was no escape. He was going to come and take them back to Egypt or kill them. That's when God intervened. And so... I, I believe we'll start seeing certain miracles, certain almost like the ten plagues of Egypt, if you will. Certain things that'll start flipping this around, certain exposures being brought to light um, to wake up the people into this mass exodus away from the worldly system. And I think the evil ones will be pushing the global elite Luciferian order as hard as they can, pursuing us to either bring us back under their control or destroy us, to the point that no man will be able to stop it whatsoever. Um, at all. It, it's like we are completely lost. The only person who could possibly save us at this time would be God. I think it's going to get to that point. That's what I mean when I say it's going to get darker. It's going to get to the point where it's just like your calculations for what man can do or what we as a group can do or what we can sit here and chat about, completely irrelevant. We are on the brink of death. They're going to destroy us or enslave us. And the only way out of it is God. So I think it's going to be reaching that point. We need to be prepared for that. And until then, we also need to have the correct alignment, the correct mindset, the moving into what God has planned for us and believing what he said he was going to do and acting in accordance with that and speaking into it. And I think a lot of us haven't done that, especially me. Uh, I've just been kind of on the down play, sliding, you know, going on the back burner again, backsliding, doing all this stuff. And I think we need to re refocus ourselves and, and realize what he's doing and why we should focus in as well into what he is doing and change our way of thought. And I will be doing that in the next, sorry, I can't talk today. I didn't have enough coffee. I will be doing that in the next segment. Um, give me another week to sit and ponder and plan exactly how to phrase this for you. Cause I know my mind's everywhere when I speak in these episodes. So I'm going to try and maybe hone it in a little bit and see how I can focus more into what exactly it is I'm trying to say, and maybe base it off my own feelings and my own questions that I have toward God, because I'm sure some of you have the same questions as well. So uh, I hope that helps, and I will catch you possibly next week. That's, I'm guessing, when I'm going to do it, and then we'll have another two-week break, and then continue with the third episode uh, at Passover. I guess that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I will catch you next week. Take care. God bless and love you all. Bye.